The new commercial type trailer of Puppy Playtime Chapter 2 revealed some information about Mummy Longlegs and what to expect when facing her, revealing her vulnerabilities and capabilities. Howdy there, it's your boy R and welcome to the video. Keep in mind that this video will have spoilers about Chapter 1 as some information is shared. With that said, let's begin. A vintage 90s style VHS tape sounds to be inserted into a VHS player with a static scene of the factory being observed with mummy long legs suspended on the ceiling having left many spider webs around her. It seems as if the protagonist has inserted the videotape into a VHS player just like in chapter 1, getting prepared on what to expect when facing mummy long legs. When you bump up the brightness on the videotape on the top left hand side, a clear shadow of Huggy Wuggy is seen projected from behind the screen, not seeming to be restrained in any way and seems to be standing upright. This seems that Huggy Wuggy is working in conjunction with Mummy Longlegs and Mummy Longlegs is not actually restraining him. If anything, Huggy Wuggy seems to be taking orders from Mummy Longlegs, acting as a guard dog to bring playmates to Mummy Longlegs. This clip soon glitches with a description of the videotape mentioning that it is an archived Mummy Longlegs commercial aired on 1991. This in a way explains that Mummy Longlegs was seemingly designed and put on shelves in that year as well, having a dedicated commercial so that it can be popularized and sold. This is several years after Huggy Wuggy was created and 1984. That's when quiet whispers of Puppy Doll is heard, instructing the protagonist to wake up as if the protagonist has died just like in chapter 1. As in each death sequence, texts would appear instructing the protagonist to get up, seemingly being encouraged by Puppy herself usually defying the laws of biology, informing the protagonist that death is impermanent and that it's not his time yet, instructing him to get up, followed by a buzzing flash of white light, clearly indicating that the protagonist is not human, or at least doesn't follow the rules of something all humans will face one day, that being death. The buzzing flash of white light could be an electric shock bringing the protagonist back to life or a way of him coming back, something that happens yet again over and over in the new commercial video, with Puppy instructing him to wake up many times as if he died several times already. The intro then glitches out with the commercial beginning with a few children playing with Mummy Longlegs toy. Despite the cheerful and upbeat tune playing in the background, the lyrics of the song and the visuals bear a sinister message of what the protagonist is up against in chapter 2. It's mentioned that Mummy Longlegs stretches in any way or shape, even able to hang upside down. An animation segment reveals the terrifying way Mummy Longlegs could chase the protagonist, twisting and contorting in a horrifying manner. A segment even displays the possible death sequences of Mummy Longlegs jumping from above over her praise, with the ceiling clearly having corporate fluorescent lights, as if this is what would happen in the Playtime co-factory. The person doing a voiceover at the commercial mentions that Mummy Longlegs possesses a new technology called elastic plastic, a patented material which allows her to stretch to immeasurable lengths. With Playtime Co.'s new patented elastic plastic, you can stretch, pull, and twist Mommy Longlegs in the craziest ways. She loves watching you play. When you're having fun, she's having fun. That's when the voiceover mentions that she likes watching one play, which corresponds to the trailer of Mommy Longlegs, with Puppy mentioning that she watches the protagonists each move. She's watching your every move. It seems as if certain behaviors are hardwired to Mummy Longlegs' personality, giving her the motives to attack and prey on her victims. An advisory text on how to take care of Mummy then reads not to expose her material, the elastic plastic to extreme heat or freezing temperatures, unveiling some of her vulnerabilities which could come in handy when faced with her. The commercial then distorts yet again with other creepy ambiguous clips showing up. 
A clip shows a darkened park where the children were playing in with mummy long legs, with the camera position somewhere covert behind flowers seemingly, as if watching and waiting for a certain reason, as if mummy long legs in fact had consciousness and started to prey on her playmates, the children, since the beginning. Or at least she had some sort of consciousness, a primitive type compared to what the experimented on dolls and toys have now, displaying how Playtime Co. started doing their experiments early on. Using children for their experiments, hinted at in chapter 1 in one of the VHS tapes that the company had an initiative to care for orphans and give them toys. Because we can't fight stupid hockey boxes! Rich. Oh, you're right. You're right. It's, it's for the orphans. The tone of the video soon shows its true nature, being sinister and eerie, with someone running erratically through the factory using a flashlight and exploring other parts of it carefully, as if they are chased by certain entities. Now let's talk about certain points of the video and what messages it wanted to deliver. The commercial segment of the video showed what Mummy Longlegs is capable of and possible ways the protagonist could encounter her. She possesses a patented material called elastic plastic, giving her the ability to stretch and twist in variety of ways, letting her hang on the ceilings and even crawl on them. Something that is hinted at in a previous trailer where the protagonist treads carefully when exploring a narrow corridor with a high ceiling, looking up as if being concerned about the whereabouts of Mummy Longlegs. Mummy Longlegs is also seen twisting and bending in a horrifying manner, far from what a child would have in mind when purchasing it to play with it. As she seems to need an exorcist than a playmate in that scene, crawling in a menacing manner towards the cameraman or the woman. And finally, a scene clearly shows how Mummy Longlegs would attack her prey, dropping from the ceiling, incapacitating them, in this case, being no other than the protagonist. The advisory text also mentions not to expose her material to extreme heat and freezing temperatures, as this would damage her, something that will definitely be important to remember by the protagonist when facing her. And something tells me that is exactly what he will do to defeat her. As unlike Huggy Wuggy, Mummy Longlegs is very good at climbing and just dropping her like Huggy Wuggy wouldn't kill her. Now the whispers of puppy sing over and over to wake up, depict how the protagonist is far from being a human, someone who is able to be revived after dying. In the previous trailer, Poppy mentions that the protagonist is perfect, too perfect to lose, possibly due to his resilience and ability to be revived after each time he dies, giving her and all the trapped souls within the factory a chance to be freed a shimmer of hope that they have been deprived of until very recently, with the arrival of the protagonist. It's not very clear at this point who and what the protagonist is and if he truly came to the factory after receiving the letter and the VHS tape in chapter 1. But whatever he is, it's clear that he has only recently come to existence, giving the trapped soul some sort of hope of being freed. Other than being able to be revived after each death, he also seems to have free will and ability to move around unlike some dolls like Puppy, who was trapped in the box. Chapter 2 is soon to come out and hopefully to unveil more evil secrets of the Playtime Co. That's it for this video folks, thanks for being here. If you enjoyed this video and want to watch more, make sure to stay tuned by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell. It's been your host Star, and I will see you on the next one.